come and hang out on the couch with Flern. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name's Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today we're with the beautiful Avery. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good, good. And uh, we're doing a shot. This is uh, basically, we're going to show you all the lighting for this shot, which we're doing uh, directly on this couch. In fact, I don't even think you've moved from when we took the pictures, did no, you? I haven't. Which is uh, <laughs> very nice. Um, so the lighting setup for this shot, basically the concept was we wanted to do something that was like a lounge about shot, something that was like pretty low key. We've got like a sweatshirt on and this is, you know, not something that's supposed to be high fashion or super, you know, like beauty or anything like that. We still want it to be maybe just a little bit sexy, definitely pretty, but still like a total lounge about shot. So that was the entire idea behind the shot. And now we'll get into what we did with the lighting to make it actually like say that. So to start off, we've got just two lights in this image. We wanted a nice warm backlight and to get that, what we've got right behind us is a bare bulb strobe. So this does this means it doesn't have like a soft box on it or a reflector, nothing at all. There's nothing on the strobe except for a gel. And we put three one quarter CTOs. So there's a three quarter CTO gel on the lens, or sorry, on the light itself, which means it's gonna be a nice orange light. And it's also not very high. It's bare bulb, which means it's gonna kind of look like sunlight. It's gonna look like this is the light that would just be kind of be coming in from the sun, maybe at a sunrise or a sunset. Um, so that was the whole idea behind this. It's supposed to be like a lounge around shot and uh, we just wanted like a nice warm feel to it. So that light right there is just kind of, not only is it lighting, you know, actually, our subject here, it's lighting Avery, but it's lighting everything else around it. So it's just a nice bare bulb light that really does a great job as a backlight. In our next light, which is our main light for our subject, is actually this beauty dish. It's a gridded beauty dish, and this doesn't have any gels on it, which means it's gonna be a little bit cooler. So we, we didn't go like super blue on it, but we went warm on our background and then neutral here in our foreground. So it's just a little bit of a nice play with our lights. Um, we did grid it because it's relatively close to our subject. We don't want this light falling everywhere. I don't let, want the light like, you know, light on the couch or even lighting her feet. It's mostly just supposed to be for her face. So we can get what's mostly gonna shine up through is our backlight and then just this is gonna come in and accent her face as well. So just the two lights together, you can see it's not an incredibly great or like, you know, complex lighting setup but they do play together really nicely to get some great final shots. So one of the things we wanted to do because we have a backlight in this shot is make sure we get a little bit of lens flare. It's just gonna kind of make it look a little bit warmer, kind of like cover the whole image with color and warm light. And uh, to do that, basically you just wanna be sure that the light you're photographing is visible in your camera lens. So if you're photographing, you know, a person and the light is like way off over here, you're probably not gonna be getting a whole lot of camera flare. If it's actually in the frame, you're gonna be getting some camera flare. Now, a lot of the time, camera flare is like a big no-no. Like, you don't want camera flare. It's something you try to avoid at any cost. If this is something that you really did want to avoid, even if it was in your frame, what would you, what you would do is put like a black flag in front of it so it doesn't, the light doesn't hit your lens. And that would make sure you wouldn't have a camera flare. But in this case, we actually wanted it because it's supposed to be kind of like a soft, warm feel. And uh, I think the, the flare really did make the shot. So for this shot, we're shooting with a really shallow depth of field. We've got a 70 to 200, and we're shooting at one over 160th of a second. We don't want a ton of light from the ambient, although it is pretty bright outside, so it's gonna let a little bit in. We're shooting also at 2.8 aperture, so it's gonna be a very shallow depth of field, and our ISO is 100. So not a ton of light coming into the camera. We've got our settings relatively low, which means we're gonna have almost no noise and things like that. Super shallow depth of field and we're gonna get a great exposure from the back and from the front. So as far as working with Avery, we had you, what, like twirl your hair and things like that? Yeah, just play with my hair and tasseled around, um, yeah. Just kind of like you're laying on your couch at home, just kind of like, oh yeah, I'm just playing with my hair. I think we even had you pick up a magazine and read that for a second. Um, and that's kind of like the whole look and feel for this shot. Like we wanted it to look like, you know, maybe she was just like waking up for the morning at her house. She just happened to have her makeup and her hair done really well. <laughs> just happened to look amazing. Yeah, it just happened to look amazing. Waking up. I wake up like this, no Not big deal. Normally, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she's here like, you know, playing with her hair and things like that. So it's that type of posing. You know, sometimes you really do want like that fashion type of posing where you're like going like super, you know, like um, angled body and things like that. But sometimes you just, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't, it was more, you know. Yeah, this time it's just like hanging around. Yeah. Exactly, just, just what you're doing. And wardrobe is another thing to get the shot right. So it's. 
you know, all these different things that they play together. Like if she had like a super like high fashion dress on and we're still trying to, if everything else was the same and she's got like a very sleek dress, the shot would look totally, totally different. So we've got like a, a loose, like kind of sweatshirt and some, just some jean shorts, things like that. So it's, it's still like a very kind of like loungy shot. And that's, it's really important when you're trying to pull a look together to make sure that everything matches. So like, you know, the light is kind of like a lazy low sun shot. Uh, the, you know, the, the pose is just kind of like a lazy lounge about shot. The wardrobe is the same and she's just kind of like playing with her hair and things like that. So um, they all kind of flow together and uh, they make a really cool image. So not too hard to do. Just make sure you have all those elements in place and you guys are going to create something that's really unique and it's really um, coherent as far as making everything come together. And the last thing we did as far as the lighting goes is made sure we use a reflector. We don't have a whole lot of light hitting our subject from our beauty dish here. So we did use a standard reflector with a silver surface up. So that's going to make sure that some of the light that's coming from our beauty dish is gonna hit the reflector, which was right about here, and then go right back to our subject. So doing that, just make sure that you're gonna get a little bit of fill from this light and that, you know, basically this side of her face is not gonna be completely in shadow. So um, just a small, simple step, but it's also really important. Guys, thanks so much for joining us on the couch. It's been an awesome photo shoot and we hope you learned a lot. You guys can use two lights, one of them gelled in the background with a bare bulb to get this look. It's not too hard to do. It's a very cool look that you can do repeatedly day in and day out.